In today's video, we can only use slowing units. Guess in the comments what wave we'll make it to, and if you get it right, maybe I'll send you something really cool in the mailbox. Let's go. All right, guys, so for our squad in this challenge, we're gonna be bringing in the golden guy, very good slowing unit, the DJ for like good boost and stuff like that, the chef for 100% slowing, the green laser for our starter, speaker repair drone for our healer, and last but not least, the Santa for our money making unit. Now, before we get into the challenge, guys, don't forget to head on over to my website, ltcrazy.com, links in the pinned comment. And once you're on the website, don't forget, we're doing an amazing giveaway for you guys. Just click the little giveaway button right here scroll on down once this loads up enter your email enter your roblox name and enter your tickets you'll be good to go and don't forget on the toilet tower defense value page if you're a big trader i got all the values of every unit in the game on my site so don't forget to check them before you get scammed so happy trading and let's jump in to this challenge let's go all right guys so we're loading in to endless mode right here right now and we should have a teammate. There he is. He just loaded in right after me. Shout out to Nightmare. This dude right here dropped a 100 bomb in my stream last night, guys. Absolutely insane. So huge shout out to him. We're going to take him into a video today and play a little fun challenge with him as that was super epic and awesome. But anyways, guys, to get this match started here, we're going to go ahead and drop down our Santas. It's going to be a smart move for us. And don't forget... Luckily, because we are ranked 10, I have my emergency ability. So that's going to be good and handy when it comes to like resetting a troop or something like that. If we get to like a hard boss or something. So like wave 100, you know, around there, depending if we make it there or not. What wave do you guys think we're actually going to make it to here? My guess, I'm going to leave my personal guess right now at the start of this challenge. I'm going to guess wave 106. That's my guess, guys, because... I feel like in the hundreds, it starts to really get hard, and there's two of us, so I don't know. It's going to be very interesting, and also, I'm not really using many AoE-type units. It's mostly just, like, you know, I think that the Golden Future Clockman is going to be the main, like, go-to unit after I'm done with, like, the Green Laser and stuff, but other than that, it's going to be interesting to see how this all works out. However, he's very expensive, so it's going to take a while for me to even get him down, sadly, but... Once I do, guys, once I do, it's going to be worth it, I'm telling you. So let's just drop this green laser down right here to help out my uh, teammate Nightmare. That way, you know, he's not doing it all on his own here. We'll upgrade that guy once as well, just because why not, right? Does he have his guy upgraded? He does. He actually has his at level 3 now. Holy smokes. Dude's putting in work already. Let's go. All right, so the next upgrade costs $600. We'll get that pretty soon. I'm not too, too worried about that just yet. It seems like we're able to handle these enemies relatively easily right guys i would say so so i'm not the uh, you know i'm not too worried about it i'm not too worried about it guys i think we got this under control and that's good so wave eight is chilling we have 14 actually we have two thousand dollars now holy smokes that wave just went like double like super quick there i don't even know why or how but let's go we got some more upgrades on the santas this guy's got his santas upgraded to level three level four all right good not bad. Wave 9 already. We're going to be fighting the first boss so fast here. Do I have my boss health bar on? I do. Okay, good. So, did he get his other guy upgraded? He's at level 3. Mine's at level 2 only. So, maybe I'll upgrade mine once as well. And then, you know, we'll put some more upgrades into this guy. So, here we go. The first boss of the challenge. Large glasses toilet. And he is dead. So, that's good. What's really good about this setup is actually if I put my guy on last, I'm pretty sure his is on first. So, if I put mine on last... Guess what happened? He slows the guy in the front. I slow the guy in the back. It's a win-win situation. Or I could put him on the most health. That would work too. But either way, it's a really OP method because you guys can see here that we're both doing damage at the same time. So let's upgrade him again. And then we can go ahead and get our Santas upgraded here next. And so far, so good, guys. These green lasers are really holding the fort down for us. So I'm not really worried about it. And then this guy here is just incredible. Because I don't know if you guys have used him or not, but man, his range is so OP. And luckily, like, without even, like, a Leprechaun or Chief Clockman or something like that, you literally don't even need to, like, have those because the range is that good. So, like, if I just pop a bunch down right here, it'll cover this whole area, which is amazing. So, yeah, that's what we're probably going to do. And I think my teammate has those on as well. Oh, he's getting a Toxic Upgraded Titan Caravan down? I'm not sure about that. But you might as well go for the Astro. I don't know what his thinking is there on that one. But you know what? I don't judge. We're going to see what his plan is here. So let's see what happens, guys. Let's put this on the front again. Just because it seems like those other guys got by pretty quickly there. So we don't want that to happen again. Otherwise, that could lead to some big problems. 
we can't have that happening guys no we cannot so let's uh play it safe play it smart and try to get this win together here so we will get down the first golden future large clockman guy we'll just get him down like right there it's really no big deal where we get him down as long as we get him down right so let's get this dj down as well this is going to be very important for the team but uh look at this guys this golden actually reaches out to the like right here already See, this is what i'm saying 50 range on the first placement is just beyond craziness i think that that's like super op in my eyes i don't know about you guys but that seems pretty good to me and i am not going to complain about it in the least and slightest bit that is just too good guys that's seriously too good i can't believe that honestly myself i can't believe it but yo let's get some more upgrades on these santas going that's perfect and then you know i already have my my green laser maxed out does he have his maxed out yeah we're both at level five so that's good they should be able to like cover most of the track for now until we get to like the 30s and then by the 30s i'll have this uh golden future upgraded a lot more and then he's going to be much more effective for the team so that will be the plan but for now we just got to go on more upgrades for the santas they're each like three thousand or six thousand a piece now so it's extremely expensive but it is definitely worth it because then i'll be making money super duper quickly so that's the plan here guys five thousand dollars right now spend that real quick boom there we go and yeah i could upgrade to this guy which would have been really good because it got me extra 10,000 hp so that would have been a good idea but i didn't do it so oh well not to the end of the world we'll be fine we'll be okay wave 19 though so the next boss should be coming soon what is it the mutant 2.0 mutant 2.0 eh, we got him guys we got him i'm not even worried about no mutant 2.0 what's he gonna do to us really come on someone tell me what is the mutant 2.0 gonna do to us especially when i upgrade my guy to level two let's see it let's see it guys what's he gonna do let's see oh more range when i upgrade him to the next level too he's gonna be at 60 range then that's great guys so look at that range right there covers most of the track if i get him more towards the middle here it's gonna be perfect positioning so yeah that's good but look at that guys like and keep in mind like i didn't even spawn in with like extra money like i did in some of my other challenges like we're doing this like legit style challenge here and i mean guys we are absolutely killing it right now and by the way did i mention we are going to be auto skipping the whole entire time i don't know if i mentioned that or not but that is an important uh distinction that we got to make there because you know if we just go play it slow we're obviously going to make it a lot further but i like to push our team to the limits and see how far we truly could get just uh full send in it so we're gonna see here right now guys but yo i just upgraded one of my santas to level like eight so two more upgrades and then we are officially all maxed out which is gonna be incredible guys so there we go and we can't upgrade that one quite yet but we're very very close to maxing them both out which is gonna be fantastic for the team because then every wave i think that is equal to six thousand dollars guys six thousand dollars which is a lot right i think that's a lot now let's focus on upgrading the dj tv that's gonna just provide us extra damage and like quicker attacks so that, that also means well basically just extra damage because when you say cooldown, like increasing that or decreasing that whatever that just means you're attacking quicker which means you're doing more damage quicker so simple as that so more, we're doing more damage let's just put it that way all right let's upgrade him again though and then we're gonna focus on upgrading this dude again so his next upgrade is 7500 which yes it's getting expensive very quickly here guys i ain't even gonna lie but it's worth it because once again he's that good so i'm not sure what the toxic upgrade to titan cameraman does really i haven't really used him in forever like the blue and green circle i'm not sure what those do but i'm sure they're gonna be okay for us so i'm not gonna complain let's upgrade this guy again though so now we're doing 37 thousand damage guys with just one troop okay so those mutant toilets are getting destroyed yo what the heck that's they're not even standing a chance right now and i could also get down the chef in a little bit what's that going to do you're asking well that's going to get us a hundred percent slowing so it doesn't cover as much of a radius as like an astro but man, that like extra 40% slowing truly makes a difference. You guys are just going to have to see here soon. I can't put it down like where I would put the Astro normally, but I could put it down towards the front or something. And as long as I don't put it anywhere near the track, hopefully it doesn't get stunned like too, too badly. And then we'll be okay. Everything should be fine. And also don't forget, I have like room for 20 troops here. So we have plenty of opportunity to get down like extra guys. And also I want to get down some like non- uh, not an attacking units like the the stunning like helping guys like the healers type units those are going to be good for us as well 
just to help us stay, you know, attacking the enemies in the fight. So that's going to be good for us. But let's go ahead and upgrade this guy again. So the next upgrade is 20,000. I am probably going to want to get that upgrade going ASAP, but I can't afford it right now. So what I'll do is I'm going to get this chef like right there and see he could be boosted. So that's really good for us. And he's going to cover this whole entire track right there. So that whole front area. All those enemies are going to be moving super duper slow. I know I just wasted all my money on that, but like, man, do I think that's worth it? Because now we are going to be chilling with the slowing. So that's good. And then eventually I can even delete this green laser care, man. He's kind of a waste of a unit for right now, but we still have like only seven out of 20 guys down. So, I mean, realistically, we have room for plenty of improvement as we get further and further into this match. Just right now. I'm a little bit broke, and uh, yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna be chilling. We're gonna make it very far here, hopefully. Now we are playing with two players, so don't uh, you know? Don't forget the enemies are gonna be ever so slightly stronger. But still, even with that being true in the case, I don't think it's gonna stop us from getting to like a super high level or whatnot. And also, the golden has that really cool ultra lightning time stop ability, which basically, unless they nerfed it from my one challenge video. We found out that you could use that every single boss fight, even with the uh, auto skip on the whole time. If you're not using auto skip, then you could definitely use it every fight. And that is like incredible for uh, getting to high waves, especially if you're doing challenges like me. So yeah, guys, I'm thinking 106. That was my guess. I, I wonder what you guys are thinking now that we uh, made it this far and you guys could see how strong the team is. I mean, yeah, you got to remember and I got to think to myself that we are playing with uh you know an extra person so that is gonna make things ever so slightly harder as i was saying but still i think it's gonna give us a, a pretty fun chance here to make it kind of far you know what i'm saying we'll see though we'll see what happens all right let's get this guy upgraded again so that's our first maxed out golden guy which is awesome and then we'll get down some more so oh my teammate just used his ability so that's interesting i wonder why he did that but let's get down another one so there we go and that's gonna be my main unit although he's not aoe once again he is doing that like you know insane amount of damage so it, i think it's gonna it's gonna pay off it's gonna, gonna pay off and then also we get that lightning stop ability so that is uh good for us too so we got lots of things going for us guys and i think it's all gonna work out in the long run so let's upgrade him again Seventy-five thousand damage is just absolutely insane like think that's like what a hyper does yo look at that they all just died right there what the heck all those enemies like they, they just died one shot <laughs> that's crazy guys i don't even know how we're doing that but man we're doing it we are surely doing it. I just got to save up some more money. And then that more money is going to mean more upgrades. So more upgrades means more damage. Let's get it. 55,000 more damage is absolutely insanity. So we'll uh, focus up on that. I should probably tell my teammate, don't, uh, you know, don't waste, don't waste lightning. Let's see here. Lightning. I can't spell guys. I, I my spelling has gone out the window ever since school's over. All right. Don't waste lightning ability only uh only on boss we should tell him because only on bosses that way we uh make sure we actually get the most out of that ability because when we start fighting those harder bosses with like a hundred million hp plus then we're gonna be doing much much better and it's uh it's gonna save us from dying so we definitely got to be extra careful with that because if we're not i'm telling you guys it will uh cost us probably because we have that ability we might as well not waste it you know what i'm saying we might as well use the you know to the to the max ability here and actually get the most out of it so that way we could survive for ever and ever and ever and ever well hopefully not forever because i don't want to be playing this game until i die but you know we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens if i can make it to wave like 150 imagine that would be so cool it's gonna be hard but my guess is still 106 but man if i can make it to 150 i'm gonna be happy that would be incredible i think like the record like now is like 160 or something like that so yeah 150 would be nice but 160 would be even nicer right i think so i sure do we'll see though guys i got thirty-two thousand dollars. did i upgrade the next guy already i maxed out the next guy already sweet well let's get working on this one now so look at that guys i don't know how we're making money quick though we're making money fast out here already i must have a third one upgraded and maxed out i'm not sure if my teammates not going all uh goldens here he's going like multiple astros I gotta tell him like you should be uh you should go goldens one astro and delete the toxic because there's no point in using all these astros they only like you know if you have one down i mean that's great but they don't really do too much damage it's better to have more and more and more of uh the really good units I, in my opinion i think that would be the better play i'm not sure uh maybe he's got a different plan here or something but 
I'm not sure, guys. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. I think more Goldens, though, is a lot more damage and a lot better for the team. But then again, yeah, I get it. We're not doing AoE, so that's going to hurt us a lot. But still, I think it's uh, definitely worth it. But I don't know. Maybe he's got a different plan, guys. Maybe he's got a different plan. Definitely sell the uh, the Toxic, though. That That's not doing anything for us now. I mean, that, that unit kind of gets put out of commission pretty quickly it's just not uh, worth all your your money and stuff at that point right but anyways let's get down another one of these goldens here guys that's going to be great for us and we'll do that should uh you know be very helpful to us and we have room for eight more troops plus three once i delete my santos so we have a room for a lot of damage potential here if they're all doing like over a hundred thousand that means we're gonna be doing like a million damage every second think about that guys a million a second basically I mean, maybe not exactly, but pretty darn close to a million a second, which is going to be cool. All right. So this next upgrade is 7,500. That's going to eat up all my money there. But in the next wave skip, I'll get enough to upgrade again, I think. So wave 50. Yeah, we're, we're chilling, guys. We're chilling big time here. Just look at these enemies, how quick they die. And remember, if things go bad, we have that lightning ability. But like I said, I don't think we should waste that until the bosses come because the bosses is the only thing that really matters because everything else, I mean, it seems like we're handling just fine here. The soldiers and the ovens and the, the big, like, toxic mutant guys, they might be problems for us. But, uh, you know, the way things are looking right now, I don't think that's the case. I think that we're uh, just fine here. And, you know, if we keep up what we're doing now, everything's going to work out very very nicely for us guys i surely hope so if it doesn't then well i guess we're gonna die and be sad about it but let's not die let's just win we're winners out here guys i like to win i don't know about you guys but i like to win i don't like to lose so i want to keep a nice little winning attitude here and see how far we could take that because that's what i'm looking to do i'm not looking to lose i'm looking to win i hope you guys are always looking to win too because you should be i always try to win guys never give up all right let's see wait 50 here we go. Let's see what happens. We should be fine, though. We got the giant smooth toilet here. Not uh, the hardest boss in the game, so I don't even know if we need to waste the lightning ability. I mean, we could. I wouldn't be mad at my teammate if he did right now, but, like, in all honesty, I don't even think we need to. Like, check it out, right? I mean, we're, we're cooking. We're cooking right now, guys, and I got another one maxed out right there, so we'll work on putting another row up here in the front, so boom. Bang, there we go. We got another one down. Sweet, and he's almost maxed out already, so we have 52 already, too. Jeez, guys, this match is quick. We're only 16 minutes in, too, and we're already cooking through it. All right, good, perfect. So anyone who guessed that we make it before wave 50, you were wrong, my friends. We're at 52 now, so let's see here, guys. Let's see, let's see what happens. And no change in your answers, guys. You guessed the beginning of the video, so no change in your answers, all right? That's called cheating, and I'm not sending you nothing if you're cheating, but I might not even be able to send it to everyone. I'm going to try to send it to a couple of you guys, though, for sure. If you come to my stream and say, like, hey, LT, I guessed it correctly, just uh, maybe do that, and that'll be cool, too, and then we could probably uh, get it to you on, like, a stream or something, of course, because if you guys don't know, I pretty much stream every day. Now, I'm not going to say every day because there are days when sometimes I take breaks and stuff. But for the most part, guys, I stream almost every day. So if you ever want like units signed or just something like that, then make sure you, you tune into a stream. Because like I said just now, I'll probably be signing or playing matches with you guys. Like, you know, doing challenges IRL, like in real like time and stuff like that. So it'll be fun and you guys could maybe be a part of it. So that'd be cool, wouldn't it? I think so. But, uh, yeah, I usually stream either late at night or, like, really early in the morning. Like, I don't know. Well, not really early in the morning, I guess. My my really early in the morning is uh, all weird because I don't have a good sleep schedule, guys. I don't know about y'all, but my sleep schedule is terrible. For right now, at least. It's, it's a little bit better than normal. But usually, I stay up till, like, 5 a.m. or something like that. And I'm up, like, all night. So, that's usually no good. But lately, I've been waking up at a reasonable time. So, that's somewhat decent i guess right guys somewhat decent that's a good thing but yeah wave uh 57 we got fifty one thousand dollars so we're gonna spend that right now and we're gonna get down another guy and we're gonna keep on placing more so let's keep it going there we go let's get it let's get it let's get it wave 57 we're gonna be on 60 in no time and i mean now guys let me tell you something it's gonna start getting a little bit harder yeah i mean wave wave 60 to 100 it's gonna start picking up very quickly these first 60 waves were nothing. Trust me, if you've never made it this far in a match, guys, let me tell y'all, it gets hard now. It gets really hard. So we're going to see here if we could clutch it up. If we can't, I'm going to be a little bit sad. 
but let's keep on trying guys let's keep on trying all right so still wave 59 though we're almost on that next boss which is going to be i don't know the wave 60 boss it's not easy by any means but i don't think it's going to be something that gives us uh too much trouble and like kills us or anything like that but it might uh, it might leave a dent in the army who knows it might hurt us a little bit i'm not so certain on that but wave 60 here we go i'll even use the ability on this one just uh to make sure that we kill it and make sure that we win that's the the most important part right so wave 61 starts before the boss even got out that's kind of funny it's the frost skeleton 25 million hp so as you guys can see ready i'm gonna use the uh lightning boom there we go and uh, he stops in place just like that and he's gonna die insanely quickly and i think that this slow lasts for like 20 seconds or something like that so it, it's incredible like look at even the troops in the front they still attack the enemies even though they because like somehow they keep spawning even though the waves like paused they keep spawning so then they just keep dying over and over and over again so that, that ability right there guys for uh it lasting like 20 seconds is crazy because it, it's like cooldown of like 200 but then you take 20 off because the enemies aren't even spawning so it's really like a cooldown of 180 and that's that's not bad that's not that long at all like you, you know you you can get to that time real quick and usually like i was saying pretty much not every time but i'm pretty sure guys that before the next boss even spawns the uh the cooldown should be done and then you'll be able to use it again so very cool stuff there let's get this next upgrade and then we only have room for five more guys five more which is insane did i max out my uh speaker repair drones by the way i sure did guys i sure did so we did that also i could probably get down another dj for my teammate over here because he's got a lot of troops that are not being affected by my dj so if i could just like yeah that asteroid right there is in such a um like not a bad spot but he's just in the way i'm just gonna try to get down this dj i want to get it like right here guys it's just like the game's not working with me for some reason come on game let me put it down right there please come on game you're making me mad here let's go work with me work with me game i want to cover all his units but i can't because this astro he's being uh, a menace for the team right now i swear uh let's see can i fit him no see they just like they break the uh, thing there i don't know if i could fit him anywhere like the lava i wish i could just place it right here guys i want to place it right here but i can't unfortunate all right we could get it right there i guess it's not the perfect position but it's gonna be good enough there we go i wish i had a booster for range but i don't sadly that's okay though no big deal no big deal guys let's just go ahead max out another golden and then we'll be at uh, 17 out of 20 full maxed out troops and then i would like to keep on going and get that up more and more and more to be honest with you the more the better right the more the better in my eyes boys the more the better in my eyes let's get that thing up to like you know 20 i wish you get up to like more and more troops but obviously we can't do that so we ain't gonna be doing that but that's okay that's fine see we're on wave 68 though we have like one minute left for the ultra time stop to come back so we may or may not get it just in time, but I mean, it'll definitely be in time for it to, you know, the boss will maybe be like where Nightmare's standing, like right there. Yo, shout out to Nightmare though. Look at his outfit, guys. That is sick. I know he's not wearing my merch right now, but man, even, even that outfit right there is pretty cool. I like that, like, like vibe to it. It looks pretty good. It kind of looks like mine. It's just uh, black and white. We're definitely going to do a black and white one, guys, at some point. And man, I like that pumpkin head though. I would, I would like to rock that. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I'd rock that with my, uh, black and white merch for sure that's so sick actually i don't know how he gets his like character model to be like all white like that though that'll be it's like you need to do that if you're gonna do a black and white character i feel like all white or like all black so then it like just matches the character that would be sick i am definitely gonna release that i don't know which uh like when we should release that like maybe 900k or something i don't know maybe a million but a million i was thinking we'd do rainbow outfit that might be even cooler I don't know though guys you tell me what do you think what color should the merch be next should it be black and white next but is that worth it for 600k like I, you know i don't know i don't know because i want that to be a special one like imagine one mil with black and white though that'd be kind of that'd be kind of neat wouldn't it i think that'd be kind of neat honestly but i am not so certain on the color way just yet we'll figure it all out we got plenty of time we're not almost at uh, 600k quite yet guys if you are not subscribed yet though hey great time to hit that subscribe button and help us get to 600k tell a friend about the channel you know maybe share this video with a friend or something and tell them to subscribe too because we're getting there though guys ever so you know slowly but you know we are definitely making a, a dent every day just chip it away at these subs guys we absolutely are road to 600k is underway we're gonna get there one day at a time like i've been saying and it's gonna be a good feeling when we get there guys i'll tell you that right now it's gonna be a great feeling though 
Yo, wave 74, though. We already killed that boss. That last boss was a piece of cake because my teammate used the uh, lightning ability. So, as I was saying, guys, that is going to be very, very effective for me, for him, for everybody. Because it's, it's just that strong. It's, it's so good, honestly. So, that's why I like it, guys. That's why I like it a lot. Wave 75, though. We got 45 thousand dollars i don't know how i got that much money but i sure do so let's uh make sure we use it up right we got to use it up here so i have to get down another troop obviously i'd like to get him somewhere near my other guys like uh djs and stuff but if i can i can't no big deal but i did sneak one in right there in the corner so that should be good luckily i don't think we've really had any issues with getting stunned i don't even know if this guy could get stunned to be honest with you i think he could though does, uh, does the golden get stunned, guys? I really don't know the answer to that question, but I, I'm assuming that he does just because, like, why wouldn't he get stunned? I don't think he has any, like, you know, certain, like, shield or anything on him that makes him not get stunned. So I feel like it would only make sense if he did get stunned. But who the heck knows, right? Anything could happen until a tower defense. The world until a tower defense is a very weird, very weird world for sure. Let's get this guy down right here, though. There we go. And just look at that range, guys. He covers even the front of the track from back here. That just makes no sense, guys. I love it. I love this unit. Yo, I need to get this unit in the uh, real TTD. If you guys have this guy, let me know how much you traded him for, all right? Because in the uh, in the real TTD, I got like 500,000 gems. So if you guys are down to trade, y'all are going to have to let your boy know because I'm looking for some cool stuff, boys. I sure am. I sure am. You know it. This guy, the ultimates, all that great stuff. I need it, guys. I need it. All right, though. Yo, there we go. And then we're going to save up for a couple waves here. I am at 20 out of 20, right? But the thing is, I got these three Santas over here in the corner, right? These guys right here. So we're going to sell those at some point. But if I sell them now, I'll never make enough money to max out these uh, golden. So we're going to wait a good uh, wave or two. So then it'll be more worth it. I really think that my guy should uh, delete this unit right here. I mean, that's so much wasted potential, I feel like. But then again, you know, it's AoE. So it's not really wasted potential. It's just... It's either do you want that harder hitting single target or do you want to damage multiple enemies at once? It's a, it's a tough decision, guys. It truly is. It's a tough decision. So you got to just kind of come up with that answer for yourself. But yo, here we go. Another uh, boss. Let's just stop time. And once again, this strategy is just going to keep on working for us. It literally works every single time, guys. Every single time. So we're going to keep on doing it. Trust me. Every wave. I wonder if we're going to get to 140 and fight the Secular Astro Toilet. Now, I know with Goldens, we could probably kill him, but I don't know. Because once again, I, I do have my emergency ability, and hopefully my teammate has an emergency ability as well. I don't know if he does or not, but man, I hope he does, because if he does, we're going to be cooking, guys. Now, we actually didn't kill that dual cargo there, which is kind of unfortunate. I think the reason for that is because he wasn't in the front of the track. So maybe next time, I should probably wait till he gets to the front of the track and then do that, because... Otherwise, it's a little bit of a waste. But, yo, these enemies are kind of getting far now. Uh-oh, boys. The enemies are getting further than I'd like to see here. Uh-oh. This could be bad. It could be very, 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 very bad. But I'm still having high hopes here. If you guys guessed in the low 90s, high 80s. And by the way, we're going to consider whatever wave it says on the top of the screen that's the way we made it to okay whatever wave it says if it says like completed only like 80 waves that's bs guys we made it to wave 85 all right if it says 85 up there we made it to wave 85 all right so we're gonna make that clarification right now before uh we get any further into the video okay but yeah i'm not sure why the game does it like that to be honest with you it's kind of silly in my eyes to be honest with you but oh well i didn't make the game i can't make the rules so it is what it is right he is what he is but yo we got these thanksgiving troops these ones are really annoying because they like completely stun your whole entire team they could be very very bad for you but you guys i'm gonna sell these troops now we have over like a hundred thousand dollars so hey man if that's not enough to to you know upgrade all these guys then i don't know what to say well it's not gonna be so unfortunate unlucky but that's okay it is what it is let's just get these down and then maybe i could go for like a, a chef back here or something like that if i get a chef down like right there that would be pretty neat and the only reason that would be good is because I don't think I have my chef on this side. And once again, that 100% slowing is kind of a big deal. It's going to help out quite a lot when it comes to, you know, just having that extra time to kill these enemies. You know what I'm saying? So it would definitely not be a bad thing. It definitely wouldn't be a bad thing, guys. It would, it would probably help us out quite a lot, honestly. So I'm not going to, you know, count that option out. See how he doesn't reach right there? That would be nice if he did. 
I just got to find a spot where he fits. But we covered so much. Of the wait, wait, he fits right here. Perfect. There we go. All right, we got it, guys. So he covers all that now. Perfect. All right, so that's uh, 20 out of 20. All troops are down and active. So that is officially that. There's nothing else we could do other than sit back, relax, and watch the fight, guys. So let's see. We're on a wave 90. So what was my guess again? I think it was 106. So man, guys, we are pretty darn close here. But I still think that we have a pretty solid shot to uh, get to where I wanted to get. So let's keep on going. Wave 90 is looking good right now. The boss should spawn any second. We still have 10 seconds on our cooldown here. So that's not good, theoretically. But there he is. The boss has made it. Hopefully my teammate, I don't know if we should waste it. I don't know what the right move is here, guys. Maybe I waste it now i'm gonna do it. i'm just gonna do it. i'm just gonna do it guys i'm gonna full send it let's get it because we got a lot of uh, troops on the track we're not killing them quite yet so if we kill all these like you know dudes right here in the front right now that's gonna be great because then we'll full focus on this guy yep there we go the full focus 166 million hp guys that's a lot of hp 70 percent left we got him though he's not full perma stun like that happens sometimes i'm not sure why that happens but let's delete our one green laser up there in the front and just add down another guy because Keep in mind, that's going to be another, like, I don't know how much would it be, like 100,000 something damage. So, I think it's better to have 100,000 damage than a green laser in the front, to be honest with you guys. So, let's do that. Get him maxed out. Perfect. Well done. Well done. That boss is getting sent back for them. For th I think he actually is purpose stunned now. Yo, look at I think he's purpose stunned, guys. Look at this. This boss, like, literally doesn't even work. Straight up. I don't know that Talantric hasn't fixed this or Evan hasn't fixed this in like weeks. He just doesn't even work, guys. He just doesn't even move. He just sits there. I don't know unless that's like his actual feature, but I doubt it. But he just doesn't move. But he doesn't move. He doesn't even care. He just sits there. He just sits there and eats all the, the golden future guy, clock band dudes, lightning bolts. That's what he does. That's his job. All right. Wave 95, though. Yo, we're going to get to wave 100. Hopefully not too quickly because... Oh, yo, look at this. Look at all these glitches, guys. Yo, this is bad. There's like a hundred of them. I swear. Look at this. Yo, there's no way right now. There's no way that's there's that many glitches, guys. What the heck? We got to kill them like immediately. We got to kill them immediately or we're going to die. Okay, we got them. Whew, that was close. That was really close. That could have been bad. Glitches is usually what you die by. They have like 95. There's like five or 10 glitches that spawn in and they could kill you so quickly. So kind of sketchy, kind of scary and not even going to lie. But we killed the broken heart boss. So that's good. And then we're on wave 97. We only have uh, a minute and a half here to, to get to wave 100. And if we uh, get there any quicker, then we might end up dying, guys. So we got to be careful with this. We got to slow things down a little bit, guys. Stop attacking them so quickly. Jeez, slow it down, boys. Slow it down. But no, don't slow it down because if they get further on the track, then that's when it it's going to get overwhelming and probably end up killing us. So we got to be extra careful here. We got to be extra careful. What's my team saying? I'm not sure how long we'll last, but I can say longer. But not for long. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're going to let make it uh, too much longer, Nightmare. I'm going to be honest with you, buddy. But we're going to give it a roll, man. I'm going to tell him to uh, sell green laser and place another gold. Because, once again, we don't need that green laser up there. It's not really doing anything. That green laser is it doing nothing. Maybe even one more Astro, I would say. But that's going to be up to him. I think he should sell that green laser, though, for sure. I think that one's his. Yeah, the Seeker. So... That one's his, not mine. I can't do nothing about that. But um, wave 100, here we are, guys. This is when it's going to get like very, very hectic. So like I said, I guess 106. I think that my guess is pretty, you know, pretty good one. I don't know if it's going to be accurate or not, but I think it's a good guess. I think it's for surely a good guess here because, man, you guys can see it alone here that it's getting extremely difficult. On the bright side, though, we're getting our ultra ability. 223. Oh, my goodness, guys. He has 223 million HP. All right, don't use, don't use ability. I'm just going to tell him that. Don't use ability because I don't want him to use it at the wrong time. I got to wait until he gets to the front. I literally said, don't use it. No, what was he thinking? Oh, no, no, I said, don't, don't. Oh, no. Oh, GG, we're dead. GG. That's not good, guys. I was going to wait for him to get to the front. So that way I could, uh, you know, have the full focus on killing the boss. But now that that happened, I think that we're in big trouble here, guys, to be honest with you. That's not good. All right. It's still not over yet, though. We might be able to make it to wave 106, my guess. 
it might come true. Actually, we're probably going to make it past 106 because if the enemies are only right here, I think that by the time it auto skips three more waves, it'll be like wave 110 or something. So yeah, I think I'm wrong, guys. I think I am wrong. I think my guess is a little bit off, but oh well. I tried. I tried my best. I guess wrong. Oh well, it happens, right? Anyways, let's keep on rolling here. We're still alive. We're still cooking. So let's get it. Come on now. Let's see, where is that DJ even at? He's right there, so he keeps getting perma slowed, which is really good, but come on, we gotta start attacking them, though, guys. Let's go. We gotta kill these other enemies, but we're just not, like, actually attacking the main boss here. Now we're gonna start attacking the main boss, so 72% left. I mean, it's gonna be doable, but it's not gonna be pretty, let's put it that way. We gotta, we gotta really, really, really focus on him here and get this guy out of the, out of the game. And having this, like, chef, though, is incredible because he really does slow down a lot. Compared to how quick he'd normally be if you just let him go, like, full speed at you. He's going so much slower than normal right now, guys. It's incredible. But, yo, what are these little guys going? Well, these guys are cooking. They have, like, 70 million HP. Are you kidding me? Is it 7 million or... I think it's 71 million, guys. What in the world? How do those little enemies have 71 million HP? That makes, like, no sense at all. But, yo, we have 107. So, we made it past my uh, guess, guys. What the heck? That's crazy. I think that where our chef is getting, yeah, our chef's getting stunned. And when he gets stunned, he's not getting slowed. So that's bad. Luckily, the, the Toxics or Astros back there are keeping us, uh, you know, at least a little bit slowed. So that's good. But other than that, guys, trouble is, you know, being big trouble here. Uh-oh. Yo, glitch. It's cooking. Guys, that glitch is cooking. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him just in time there. Just in time, guys. But hey, the DJ is almost dead. So that's good. I really wish I could use like a slow ability right here or something like that. But I can't. So... That's not good, but uh-oh. We got some of these guys getting by. Uh-oh, that's not good. Come on, get them, guys. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. We're almost so safe. We're almost so safe. A couple more hits on that one. Let's go. We got them. Come on, it's the boss now. The boss, he's... Come on, that's a piece of cake, guys. Let's go. That's a piece of cake right there. DJ 2.0s. The... Wait, there's like... Why is there so many DJ 2.0s? Um, reset. Yo, uh, not reset, but use emergency right now. Emergency right now. Come on, teammate. Listen to me, Nightmare. Listen to me. No, don't use it right now. Oh, no. I don't think he's paying attention. He's got to make sure he gets the DJ 2.0. If he doesn't get the DJ 2.0, we're dead. Oh, no. It's not looking good. Uh-oh. Well, we tried, guys. I think that this is the end of the LT army. But, hey, whoever guessed between 110 and 120, your odds are looking really good right now, guys. Your odds are looking really good because... I don't think we're going to be making it very too much longer here. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real here. It's looking a little rough, guys. Mutant pumpkin toilet. What? I've never even seen this guy in like a really, really long time. Check him out, guys. He's a wave 110 boss. Yo, that's so sick. He's got like 300 million HP and he's so fast. He's cooking. Look at him. Yo, that's a really sick like like um, model there. I like his like character model. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. I missed the... Uh, did anyone actually ever beat the pumpkin patch? I beat the pumpkin uh, patch when that came out back in the day. That was so hard, though. I don't know how I did it, but I managed. I managed one way or another. I was uh, able to do it, so that's pretty cool. But guys, we're still in this. Yo, like, high 100s here is going to be... Uh, high 110s is going to be the winner, I think. Because, I mean, look at this. We're still going. I don't know how we're doing so much AoE damage back here on that, but we are. I'm going to use my Ultra Time Stop right now and just uh, kind of focus up and try to kill some of these enemies here because well unfortunately that mutant pumpkin toilet is already out of the range of my chefs and i think the astros so that's like really bad and as you guys can see he's like right there in the top left of the track so that's bad that's not good i think that's gonna be what kills us if anything so yeah that's the problem here i mean just look at him not good he's a big bully he's a big big bully should i pull up my stun wand you guys want to see the stun wand real quick? I'll show you how it's done, guys. Watch this. Ready? Spawn, tool, me, stun wand. Oh, I could spell correctly, guys. There we go. Watch this. Take this, boss man. Oh, get out of there. All right. Stun him. That's not doing anything. Guys, it's not doing anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It just looks like I have a lollipop. Well, now I just have a lollipop in my hands. It's not doing anything. My stun wand doesn't work. How about, can I stun Nightmare? Nightmare, where are you? Wait, oh, wait, does it work on team? Oh, no. GG, though, we lost on wave 117. We made 3,000 coins and 1,500 XP, guys. That's crazy good. That's so good, actually. Holy moly. 
Well, that was a GG. That was fun. I had fun playing. I hope you guys had fun watching. This was a very interesting video. And huge shout out to Nightmare once again for being my teammate and being a huge supporter of the channel in that last stream. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to watch another video of mine, check out the video on the screen right now. It's really cool because it's like waking up back in 2023 when TT was a brand new game. You're going to want to watch that challenge. It's insane, guys. I'll see you on over there. Have a good day. If you guys didn't do so already, hit that like button, drop a comment, and make sure you subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. I'll see you in that next video. Adios, guys.